What's going on guys? Today I've got a quick update for you guys. I know it's been a while, probably about a year since I made the last video, but um, some small improvements on the truck. I installed an ICS Fab uh, little dash holder for like your GPS and your, your walkie talkies and stuff. This is super easy. There's uh, four bolts that you install right here, as you can see. And basically you can just take this back part off and take it off. Like the installation is super easy. Um, I had to use some different hardware than what they supplied. Uh, I had to cut these bolts down in the back to clear this plastic right here. So I had to drill these holes out um, a little bit wider to accommodate the uh, the nuts. But super easy to install. Um, just make sure you mark where you have it and then everything should pop back in place. I'll leave that there for now. Um, I used to have a ram mount uh, suction cup holder. Uh, against the window but you know hot and cold days that would always fall off so what i went ahead and did is i unbolted the dash and i got some ram mounts parts um and these little uh grommets that you can get um off amazon i'll link everything in the description down below but uh super easy it's still adjustable you can see from the side um but that's just a lot better it kind of clears up some of the uh field of view on the left side um a pillar and I like the way it looks a lot better than having the cable run down here, as you guys saw in my previous video. And then I just hid the wire behind the um, speedometer. So it's really easy. If you look at other videos of taking apart your dash, the one thing you have to do differently is you don't have to take apart the center console at all. Like none of this has to come out for this to come out. All you have to do is undo these two bolts down here. There's one here and there's one here. And you get rid of some of the trim down here. I'll show you guys. Like you just peel this back and then kind of carefully pop this open and there's one bolt here and then one bolt uh somewhere over here that holds this piece and all you kind of do is wiggle that out um it's like upwards and outwards um, i won't go into too much in depth just because it's there's so many videos out there that's the only part that's like the same between the xterras i think because the older models it requires you to pull this out and then you can pull this out so basically you just let this hang um, cause these will still be attached, but that's totally fine. I didn't need to like completely take them out. And then I just drilled my holes, uh, and then tightened everything and then just reinstalled super easy. Um, I have my little controller down here for anyone that hasn't seen. Um, so you have the HDMI cord going into the, the unit and then that would be the DI reader that attaches to the power unit. So it's super easy, but pretty much besides that, the truck is the same. I'll do a little walk around. The only thing that's different on the outside is I replaced this brake light here. Um, the old one had a pretty big little crack in it, I'll show you. Um, but aesthetically, about the same. I haven't been with my truck for a while, so I haven't been able to do much to it. And it's kind of on hold since I bought a motorcycle. Um, it had this, this has been here for years, so I figured it's finally time to replace it make it spruce it up a bit and then I had my old um, sun visor that cracked here and you can't get new bolts for this or like new plastic hardware you have to order the whole new one so I'm waiting from some online vendor to send me one but she's looking about the same so as you can see the uh, visor zero which gets pretty annoying on a sunny day but right now it's pretty typically okay and i'll most likely remove the uh cb radio that hasn't been used at all since my buddies only pretty much use radios now and then that antenna on the back of the truck uh that i'll show you might come off too right here but thanks for watching guys it's a pretty quick update today Hopefully I can get some more wheeling videos since I'm back and some more content. Thanks guys.